What would inspire hundreds of people to gather together for a public pillow fight? Flash mobs. They started as pointless events and have grown into a social phenomenon. Flash mobs are massive groups of people that gather together in a public place through some type of digital interaction. Flash mobs. Uh, what, what's to say? It's uh, instant community. It's Web 2.0. It's all that the internet is and communication can be. It's getting together and having fun with complete and total strangers. Most flash mobbers say the first one in the U.S. happened back in 2003 in Manhattan, where people gathered together in a Macy's department store. People stood around the most expensive rug and told the sales staff that they were shopping for a love rug and that they made all their purchase decisions as a group. But flash mobs were being used in other parts of the world even before that, and not just for silly pranks. In 2001, the Power People 2 movement in the Philippines organized a flash mob through text messages to call for the removal of their president, Joseph Estrada. Later, in 2004, a mob in Romania came together during a jogging session to criticize the government for limiting freedom of speech. But here in the U.S., flash mobs have been used mostly as social events. In San Francisco, mobbers answered the call for a pillow fight on Valentine's Day. The event at Justin Herman Plaza kicked off when the ferry building clock struck six. Hundreds of people showed up after receiving text messages, emails, blogs, and MySpace bulletins. I also heard about it on the internet. I think it was last year I heard about it uh, on, on Boing Boing. This is the second pillow fight to happen in San Francisco. Um, my Through friend Dylan, my roommate, actually just told me about it. He was, he's always online. The glory of the internet is how I heard about the pillow fight. Uh, made its way through emails and text messages and MySpace bulletins until it got around to me eventually. Dave Bellman participated in both years' mobs. Um, I felt like the first one that happened in 2006 was very t spontaneous. It was small. Um, people were not expecting it. A lot of people didn't know about it. And the one that happened this past year just seemed very organized and felt very expected so that people were really kind of planning for it and it lost the spontaneity that I think is what's critical to making a flash mob a flash mob. Are flash mobs becoming the new hip way for people in the know to get together? They can have powerful results on society and can be used as a social tool. Keep an eye on your emails. I'm Curtis Kent.